What's going on guys, Kraku here and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid. Now before we begin with rescuing uh, President Baker, there's a couple of things I have to tell you. Uh, so we kind of ran into some problems in regards to this Let's Play and I don't know how to go about uh, solving this. Uh, so basically every single video of Metal Gear that I uploaded was, um, you know, copyrighted was third party copyright strike whatever and I don't know what will come out of it and every time I you know I, I upload the video and then it shows me do I acknowledge the copyright infringement or whatever it's not really an infringement just do I acknowledge the copyright you know issues I say yes and then it gives me the the you know the reason why it was copyrighted and it, it puts me in a video where supposed copyright infringement happened and it's always at the cutscenes so I'm not sure what to do about the cutscenes man should I just talk through them in order to avoid a copyright strike or what or what to do but for now I have to leave this cutscene on uh, I'm not gonna be able to claim any of those Metal Gear videos man because yeah because of that so but it's all good I don't care um, I'm not I'm not like that so um, without further ado let's go rescue President Baker Am I too late? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me... Revolver. Draw! And there we go. So we have our first kind of boss fight type of thing, I and it's rather, uh... There we go. It's rather annoying, really. I don't like this boss fight at all. Uh, so this is Revolver Ocelot, and he is a recurring name throughout the Metal Gear universe. And basically what you have to do is just run around, not trip any wires, and press the thumbs up button on my video. What? <laughs> yeah, but if you could, please press the thumbs up button. I would appreciate that very, very much. And I have to chase him. And it's more of a guessing game sometimes where he's gonna shoot. Uh, sometimes it's just the bullets bounce off the wall. And he has to reload now. Where is he? Okay, I'm not gonna be able to do this. There we go. So basically what you have to do, just run around like an idiot, merry-go-round. <laughs> this, this reminds me of that, uh, I don't know if you remember, this episode of Family Guy, where uh, they are in this mansion, and like all the characters, like half of them are getting killed, and they're like chasing uh, Tom Tucker, I believe, around the table, and then at the end, finally, they <laughs> manage to split up and catch the dude. I know it's funny as hell to me, so random. You better hurry up. The old man's not okay, there we go. Sometimes you just have to fire blindly because if you startle him, he's gonna run. And you don't want don't that. Want it's one of those uh, boss fights that, you know, it's kind of cool, but it's not. I don't like it. <laughs> Sometimes you're able to catch him off guard like this. But, you know, really the only thing that you gotta do is just to let him waste his bullets. And then you can get a shot off on him. So yeah, man, I don't know what I'm gonna do about uh, copyright strikes. I mean, I uploaded Metal Gear Solid 4 on Machinima, like one of my subscribers, um, you know, pointed out. 
and tell me lost a lot. And it was fine, but for some reason, and just like that's why I never finished the Metal Gear Solid uh, playthrough before. It's for the simple fact that I got a fucking copyright strike, like like a legit copyright strike before, uh, not a copyright infringement or whatever. Just you know, a legit copyright strike. Oh, son of a bitch. Whoops, time for a ration. And I don't think you get any rations in this level. Okay, there we go. Where is he now? Oh. Oh, we're not gonna be able to get him. Son of a bitch, he reloaded. Mm. There we go, we still got him. So I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know what to do, guys. It's going to be rather interesting to see where this copyright infringement type of thing is going to lead up to. Uh, because I don't want to lose this channel. This channel is... Uh, it's really fun, man. It's really fun. You guys are respond responding fantastically uh, to my to my playthroughs and, and, and whatnot. Okay, son of a bitch. There we go. Yeah, and then for some reason he goes invincible, but that's okay. Just a couple of more shots, and I don't really want to speed it up. Maybe sometimes I will, but, you know, right now I'm not going to. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys the mechanics, and if there's going to be a dull battle like this in the future, I will speed it up or just, you know, cut to the chase, and where I'm either going to die or I'm going to defeat the boss. And also pay attention to the background music. It's freaking badass, man. There we go. Just a couple of more shots. Okay, he fucking managed to get away. But not this time. One, two, three. You know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna cut off to the point where one more shot will finish him off. So, give me two seconds. Okay, guys, welcome back. And I did not mean to select the grenade. Uh, yeah, one more shot to finish Revolver Ocelot. And we are golden. So, there it goes. And a cutscene is coming up, so I will shut the hell up. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh. you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? 
I can't be. Did all that stuff what you promised, Jim? Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code, I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh. Sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the Nuclear Warhead Storage Building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the Okay, stuff. I think I'm gonna so skip this. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material. And this. I will explain everything, believe me, I will explain everything that's Metal going on. Gear. Yes, you know our industry so And this. Because this is just going to drag on forever. I mean, when, when you play it by yourself, Drives. it's good. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results... I'm just trying to see if this is a cutscene worth I watching or not. About you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here. This is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? Okay, I like think we knew something. Actually, that ninja? Wait. That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Okay, and that's enough. There we go. Codec moment. Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but some kind of poison. 
Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Okay. There we go, finally. I mean, I don't want to bore the living crap out of you with the cutscenes, but they are important to the story. Uh, I've seen them a billion times. I mean, you know, I can watch them again. Uh, but it's the fact that... Yeah, I can explain everything on the way. So, basically, we got the card key level 2. We have to contact that woman uh, that we met in the previous episode. And she will do stuff for us. <laughs> Yeah, not dirty sexual stuff, just just she's gonna help us out with the mission. Okay, so since we got the card key and there's a whole bunch of uh, storage units here, let's see what we can scavenge. I don't want to make these episodes kind of long because the game is <laughs> short, but the cutscenes will definitely add up to the time. Okay, so remember those thermal goggles that we have? Yeah, they come in handy now. Also, if you didn't have thermal goggles, you can also use the cigarettes to see the uh, little laser outline. But they, I think they do, do they? Yeah, they they put your health down, I believe. Not right now, but let me see. Let me stand up. Do they? No, they don't. In every other version they do. Oh, there we go. Yep, they do kind of, you know, take your HP down just a little bit. Uh, so let's go see what else we can have since we have the level 2. This is level 3. We can go in here. There's level 1. We gotta get away. Oh. Okay, there's nothing here. Yeah. We can't get in here. This is level... We have a slow 5 PSG1. Okay! So let's get going. We gotta go downstairs now because we have to call this woman. You know, Meryl. We have to work together. So that's where I'm going to end the episode at. Let me just get to the area that I have to get to, and we can move on with the next episode. Oh, it's mad humid today. Uh, super humid. Alright, so I don't have a CD case. I mean, I do have the original copy of Metal Gear, but... I don't really know where it is. It's somewhere in a closet, but I think I know her codec by heart. Let's try 140.25. Oh shit, 140.20? Okay, 1 for 1.25. Maybe. Oh, fuck me. 2-0? Oh my god. Okay, well, I am going to check this out and I will be back in 2.5 seconds. Okay, turns out I wasn't that much off. I was just 10 uh, digits down. It's 140.15. That's right. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? Damn right I am. Some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry, you'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. 
You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm. Sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Ah. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day... Okay, uh, I'm sorry, I just have to... I just have to skip this. Uh, it's too sappy. Yep, <laughs> there we go. We have a laugh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so basically, we have to wait until she calls us that, so that she can open this door. But I will end the episode now because it's dragging on for way too long. I will see you tomorrow with another episode of Metal Gear Solid. And hopefully, I will be able to uh, do something about those copyright things. So, see you next time.